After you've done your tool safety talk, you can move on to making sure that all of your volunteers are wearing the correct personal protective equipment, for short PPE, and that refers to anything they're wearing on their physical person. So we recommend that volunteers wear long sleeve shirts and long pants, and every volunteer should be wearing close toed shoes. This is going to be especially important if your volunteers are really getting into the vegetation, ripping up those ivy, ripping up that ivy and getting into blackberry canes especially because those blackberries, those thorns can be pretty vicious. When you are packing for an event, think about if you're going to be working with blackberry, and if you are, you may want to pack a few pairs or multiple pairs of those leather gloves because it's harder for the blackberry thorns to get through them. If your restoration activity is going to be working in a really bushy area or cutting lots of things, you may want to also consider packing a few pairs of sunglasses or clear glasses or some hard hats so that you can protect those sensitive parts of your volunteers' bodies. After you've checked to make sure everyone's wearing the proper gear, you can move straight into site hazard. So we're going to want to make sure that we're orienting our volunteers to the site. Think about um, reminding your volunteers that we are working in an urban park, and that means that we're going to come across things that are unique to urban settings. So there is a pretty high chance that your volunteers may be running into things like broken glass or needles or even a homeless encampment. And if they do find any of that stuff, just tell them to come to you and you can deal with it. So if it's some kind of trash, you can dispose of that properly. Or if it's a homeless encampment, you're going to make sure you need to tell the local authorities or whoever is appropriate for that. Before your event, you should put together an emergency response form that has the numbers and contact info for all of the local authorities, the nearest hospital, and if there is some kind of incident, make sure that you're letting your Green City's representative know. Lastly, you're going to want to go over your restoration site boundaries and point out any steep slopes, holes, or hazardous areas in your site, and also point out any kind of plant that is poisonous or might sting your volunteers while they're working around it. 